Hello. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to terminate a 12 fiber MPO splice on connector. First, turn your machine on. Next, make sure you have the proper settings. In this video, we will be doing a 12 fiber single mode, so we need to change the splice mode. Go into main menu, splice, I'll go to single mode auto, select, close, close. Now you'll see the mode has changed to single mode. Doing an MPO connector, 12 fiber. Now, prep your cable. First, put your back boot on. Next, spring. Then, your heat shrink, making sure that your metal strength member is on the bottom. Then load into your holder. Leaving approximately one inch tail. Open your strippers. Place holder inside. Firmly close. Open left side first, remove, then open your right side. Next, clean. Gently fan your fibers. Open your cleaver. Place holder inside proper channel. Close. Depress your button. Open your wind cover. Insert into your splicer. Next, prepare your connector. To change polarity, remove the back piece, rotate your connector, replace your back piece. Insert into your holder. Place inside your stripper. Firmly close. Open your stripper, remove your connector, open your right door. Clean. Gently fan your fiber. Place into your cleaver. Close, depress your button. Place into your splicer. Once both fibers are prepped and placed inside the splicer, close your wind cover, allow it to align. Once you've come to the pause, check your gaps and your offsets. All looks good. This point, arc. Once complete, open your wind cover. Allow the machine to perform a tensile test. Once it comes back to main screen, you can open your holders. Remove your connector. Bring your heat shrink down, place into your oven. Turn your oven on, allow it to shrink. This process takes about 45 seconds. Once your oven turns off and your light goes out, open your oven. 
Remove and place into your cooling tray. Allow the heat shrink to cool for approximately 10 seconds. Once the cooling has completed, finish assembling your connector. Bring your spring up, making sure the spring is on the outside of the two posts. Bring your back boot down. making sure that the spring goes inside the back of the connector. Remove your dust cap. Insert into your connector. Snap shut. This completes this video. Thank you.